Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the different country school characteristics. I am Wendy. I am Annika. I am Dominic. First, what countries will we focus on? We focus on Taiwan, the USA, Singapore, Australia, Finland, and Japan. The number in the sheet is these countries' types. And we created this table to show the divergence in different countries' high school schedules. Pedagogy. The way that teachers test whether the students understand or not is different. For Taiwan, Singapore, and Japan, they use the method of giving tests or small quizzes really regularly. But in the USA and Australia, there are less tests. Teachers check for understanding normally by asking questions. For Finland, their major way of teaching is the project-based learning. Finland doesn't have tests at all. They only have a voluntary test that is only for students at the end of high school, called the National Matriculation Exam. Punishment. The school punishments for students is also different in different countries. Taiwan and Japan normally have standing as a punishment, but in Singapore it's caning, and it's for male students only. The maximum number of strokes one student can receive is six. Students can only be hit on their palms or butt. There are also different types of caning. For example, the most common type is private caning, which usually is done with the attendance of only the principal and the student's parents. As for the USA, Australia, and Finland, these punishments are forbidden. Grading system. In addition, the grading system also varies in different countries. Taiwan and Japan mostly will use numbers from zero to a hundred. But for Singapore, it's used by A, B, C, D, F. In comparison, Australia and the USA will replace the F with an E, so its grade is A, B, C, D, E. The most unique one is Finland, which is zero to ten. Zero to four are failing grades, while five to ten are passing grades. Now I'm going to introduce the clubs in different countries. The first country is Taiwan. In Taiwan, there are many traditional Chinese activities like Chinese chess, martial arts, and dragon and lion dance. Dragon and lion dance is a common activity in temple fairs in Taiwan. It used to be used to cleanse the ghosts and ward off evil spirits, but now it's mostly used for performances. The second one is the USA. In America, they have some special clubs like school magazine, skiing, YMCA, scouts, breaking dance. YMCA is the most popular club in America. Many teenagers will go there to join summer camp and meet some new friends. Now we are going to play the song of YMCA. The third one is Singapore. In Singapore, they have such interesting clubs like UFO groups, Young Flying Club. The Young Flying Club is used to allow young people to experience 
explain and to introduce and promote aviation to students. The fourth one is Australia. In Australia, they have their own unique sport clubs like rowing and netball. Netball is a team ball game originating from basketball. It is dominated by women and it's the most popular in Commonwealth of Nations. The fifth one is Finland. In Finland, they have some special clubs like choir and drama. Choir is a common Christian ceremony in European and American countries. They usually sing chants in chorus. Next one is Japan. In Japan, there are sports and cultural clubs. The representative sports clubs are kendo and judo. And the most famous cultural club is the tea ceremony. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Aloha everyone, my name is William, my name is Wilson, and this is the presentation of S101. Video games has become one of the most important entertainment in the 21st century. It has already split out a lot of genre, such as action, sports, arcade, interactive narrative, or even the adventure games such as Super Mario Bros. The first genre that we are going to talk about is action game. Action has become one of the most important elements in developing video games. Nowadays, the fluency of the fights are just like the same in Hollywood movies. Action games are usually combined with other genres such as adventure or arcade, but it has been developed to an online game which only needs a new type of fight to attract players. And here's the example of action games, God of War. I warned you. Finally. Listen. No, 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 Incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Sports has been one of the most popular forms of entertainment in human civilization, and once the invention of games can provide a fluent experience, then here comes the genre of sports. A lot of sports has been put on some games such as 2K, FIFA, and the one that shook the world in 2006. Wii Sports. Among all of these games, I will take 2K and FIFA for example. These are the games which could be the most iconic games among all sports games. By using the theme of two famous sports, gave them the fame and the merchandising at the first, but also limited the merchandising which limited them to only to play specific topics. 2K was shut out in 1999. The video we just show you is the highlight moment in the game. And by the way, the game has its topic so you can control your favorite character and win the season. FIFA, a game which was released in 1993, makes the hit of soccer in Europe even more popular and affected among both reality and game industry. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool up against Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff. And thanks the to the to new play. technology of Render, players now can play FIFA or 2K as real games, I'm sure which has realistic vision and feelings when playing them. Some of them even have the ability to simulate the whole games in the specific season.
underway here at Anfield. Devils have lost the ball. Really good high press. And he takes it on. Tremendous block. Can't get the shot through. Arcade, one of the games which appeared in ages. The memories of our parents came out with a variety of games which build the industry nowadays we see the game. <laughs> Isn't this cute? It is the next genre I will explain, which is adventure games. And the clip you are watching is Kirby. However, the adventure games have been known thanks to Super Mario Bros. These kinds of games usually have a hero to save the world or save someone to reach peace or their own goal. But also, these games always play a great part of our memories. Next is one of the genres which is one of the most popular things to use in games. It is the ultimate sign of humanity's cold blood and the habit of competition. And it is FPS games. The one always present the military equipment of humans. This genre can be combined with a lot of other genres together to make the stories and the merchandising be attractive to mind, which is player us. The most famous series are PUBG, Call of Duty, Valorant, or Counter Strike which are all the great evolution of FPS games. MOBA games are also the most famous series which hand the most of the money from gamers. The goal of the game is to destroy the enemy's mother tower, which usually takes 20 to 30 minutes to finish. The significant games of MOBA are Arena of Valor and League of Legends. And of 
of course, when a new game comes out, there should be a whole new universe. And the clip you are watching is Arcane from League of Legends. <clears throat> uh, shipping manifest from your friend downtown. <laughs> Shimmer before. They're expanding. Check for more below. Burn it all. Hello guys. That's the end of Ming and Wilson's presentation. We hope you enjoy. And by the way, please click the like button below the video. And I'll be really appreciate if you click it, even though I know you guys' parents might never really watch this video seriously. Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Eskimo, which ethnic group live in extremely cold places. I believe everyone is familiar with Eskimo, but no one has dug into it. We are going to be the guide of Eskimo and talk about location, living habits, culture, and diet. At last, we will discuss the problem of climate change for Eskimo. Eskimos are aboriginal to northern North America, and most Eskimos are distributed in the United States, Russia, and Canada. The Eskimos speak Eskimo Aleutian, Russian, English, French, and Danish. Eskimos engage primarily in land or sea hunting. Hunting is an Eskimo's traditional way of life. Men are responsible for hunting and building houses. Women are responsible for skin making and sewing. First, I would like to introduce the Inuit. The Inuits are a part of Eskimos, and they are distributed around the Arctic Circle. An igloo is a type of resident constructed from blocks of snow, usually with a dome. Inuit hunters make the igloo from their hunting season during the long bitter winter. This makes igloos reminiscent of the Inuit people who live in Canada's vast northern regions. Shamanism is a type of witch religion found in northern Asia. They believe that all kinds of things in the world have souls, and that the changes in nature bring about misfortunes and blessings that are manifestations of the will of all kinds of spirits, ghosts, and gods. Now, I'm going to talk about the diet of Eskimo. The origin of the name of Eskimo is the one who eats raw meat because of the cold climate, where they live basically without plants growing. If they want to get enough vitamins, they must choose to eat raw meat, because meat that has been grilled at high temperatures will destroy a lot of vitamin. Food is also precious. After a long time, they have developed the habit of eating raw meat. They mainly eat seals, whales, and salmon as their staple food. 
they even invented a dish called kiviak, which is their traditional food. The cooking method of the kiviak is pickling CGs in the belly of seals. This is the food they eat every day. Due to global warming and melting ice, the Eskimo who live by hunting may have to change their way of hunting. Climate change is reducing their food supply, leaving them without even a place to live. Which are the biggest problems for Eskimo to survive today? Now, with the above introduction, I believe that everyone has a certain understanding of Eskimo. I sincerely hope that this group far away from us can continue forever. Thank you for watching the video. Hello everyone, welcome to join my presentation. I'm Julie. Today we will talk about 10 memorable things about North Korea. I hope you will learn more about North Korea after our presentation. First, I would like to introduce that North Korea history. North Korea was established in 1948 and it is a dictionary ship country. The first president called Jin Zheng Ri took office in 1984. Right now, president called Jin Zheng Un took office in 2009. <coughs> Next, I would like to talk about the North Korea War. The war began on June 25, 1950. In 1948, as Cold War tensions rose, the occupied regions formed two separate states, a socialist state in the north under the tolerant leadership of Kim Jong Jin Jin Un, and a provide state, capital ruling in the south under the dictionary ship. Both claim to be the sole legitimate government of the entire Panama and do not accept the division of the border between two regions as pyramid. The war was in, in the summit on July 27, 1953. Hello everyone, my name is Jim and today I'm going to introduce North Korea economy. First question I'm going to ask you is, do you know how much money a person can make a month? The answer is a person can make 62 to 100 USD dollars a month which is 1,080 to 3,000 new Taiwan dollars a person can make. Let's talk about how North Korea makes money. Firstly, you need to know that North Korea economy is an industrial economy with industrial production as the main activities almost sell sufficient because the products cannot be exported to other country is also an economy almost entirely under the government and developed it according to the state plan North Korea is considered to be very rich in natural resource, especially reversing safe of rare earth, such as magnetic major industrial products, including military equipment, 
construction machinery, electricity, chemical, and processing food. Exporting coal is also. Coal is North Korea's main export. Do you know which money, which country was North Korea's biggest exporter? China. However, however, in February 2017, China was not buying North coal anymore. But North Korea coal industry still thriving. Do you know how much North Korea still make every year? It's bringing in more than 30, 70, 370 million years in three hundred seventy million million a year in illegal shipping. They are still selling rare metal and coal to raise extra funds for the country. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. Today I want to introduce North Korea. As we all know, the North Korea is a dictatorship, so there must be myths. First, your hairstyle must be government approved. There are only 28 types of hairstyle that people in the whole country can cut. 10 types for boys, type for girls. Second, the government decides who can live in the... If you want to live in Pyongyang without appealing to the government, you cannot live in the capital. Lastly, pray you don't go to jail for your family sake in addition to going to jail for breaking the law. Your grandparents, parents, and children will be Punished jointly and severely. He won't be traveling to North Korea and on his last day in Pyongyang, he was arrested at the airport for stealing a portrait of the late North Korea leader Jin Zheng Ri from a hotel which he wanted to bring back to the United States as a souvenir. As a result, he was imprisoned by North Korea for 17 months and returned to United States, falling into coma and died six days later. Otto Wimbier's cause of death was a lack of oxygen and blood supply to the and the forensic doctor believed he should have been electrocuted and suffered brain injury. We are at the conclusion part now. Am I really? I have never been to North Korea before. Someday, if I have a chance, maybe I'm going to North Korea. But I still wish they ha would have more freedom in this country. And a question for everyone. How about you? If you have chance, would you like to explore this mysterious country? So, second, do you think North Korea's regulation on people's hairstyle are reasonable. Third, if you were the people of North Korea, would you want a democratic country? Hi guys, my name is Ian and me and my group 
Kevin, Johnny, and Emma will talk about feminism. So we will start off by talking about what is feminism. So according to feminism, it's a belief in social, economic, and political equality of sexes originating in the West. It started in the late 19th century and early 20th. To be exact, it started in July 1848. So I asked my friends from Instagram of feminism in general. I'm going to start off by talking about Chloe. Chloe said, I love it. Then we have Balam. Balam saying, then we have Sage that says people meant. Then we have Allah again. Feminism is good. And there's having equal opportunity and rights. Next up, we got Victor. Then we have equality is not a privilege. Then we have a random guy for gender equality. That sounds like something he copied off Wikipedia. Then we have Eddie saying equality to get more power than men. It's just a cycle. Then we got the random guy again saying LM fight for educational and career opportunities for female. That's again, I think he copied it off. And last but not least, we got a very long paragraph that I'm going to read it to you guys by Darren. So he said, I think it's great if feminism is great when they are advocating for women equal rights. But when people try to use it as an excuse to overstep the boundaries or start stupid movements such as kill all men, it is injustice to a great social political movement for some aspect. Some things should be an exception such as in sports or cultural corporations where income is reliant on demand. I think feminism is a mindset that all people should have, not just feminism, but in general, equal rights. And it's still abstract to me how we don't have that as of yet. So that just leaves us feminism and feminism. So radical feminism is about what Darren just said about how women keep saying kill all men and use it as an excuse stuff like that and feminism is more traditional and probably less um violent that leads us to emma he's she's going to talk about the social ideologies of, of feminism and its history Feminism is a range of social political movements, ideologies that try to define and establish the political, economic, personal, and social equality of the sexes. Feminism movement waves. History of modern Western feminist movement is divided into four waves. The first comprised feminism movement in 19th century. The second wave the women's liberation movement. Part two. In or 1992, a third wave was identified. Some have argued for the existence of a fourth wave starting around 2012. Let's talk about pre-feminism where one woman only can stay at home. Two, no matter how women try hard, they always worse off than men. 3. In, in Iraq, women can go to school now. 4. We used to believe that men are more important than women. 5. In the past, women only can wear skirts and it must be low neck. Uh, six in the past, women can vote and participate in politics. Q and A. 
what list was this before and after feminism? Yes. Hello everyone, my name is Simba and this is my pardon partner Ethan. Today we're going to talk about aliens. So first, we have four main things we want to talk about. First is why do people believe in those videos about aliens? Second is popular aliens people are aware of. Third is what scientists think about it. And the last would be conspiracy theories. Okay, and uh, why do people believe in aliens videos? The fear arises because of the level of involvement of these aliens or the level of involvement of outsiders in the film and the fear caused by the pressure of people on the mind as for how people can overcome it and not be afraid it about the personal factor i personally think the fidelity of the film is very influential and probably the main reason most of the time the story continuity of the film and urban legend starts are all very evolutionary factors. And here's a movie that Mr. Th Mr. C, our teacher, thinks it's similar, which is an example that called Blair's Witch. And here's a trailer for you to watch. What is that? The guy who uploaded this video said it was from a tape he found in the Black Hills woods. I think that might be my sister. You really think your sister could still be out there after all these years? If there is any chance that I could find out what happened to her, I need to try. Legend said there's been a curse on these woods. Do you believe in the stories about the Blair Witch? Oh my god. This looks familiar. We've been walking in a circle. No way. They're everywhere. Who could have done this? You did this. So the similarities compared to the previous one, you can see in the trailer that it doesn't use some fancy skills of photography or some really um, high-tech um, GI um, things, but they only try to um, show that they're really in the scenery and it's they they're using some skills to make you believe that they're actually um, chased by a ghost or a witch. So that's how it um, tries to make you, that's how he, they made people believe that it is kind of a true story. And here is an other, some popular aliens people, people are aware of. First one is UFO, and many people may not know that the full name for UFO is actually unidentified flying object. The most familiar thing about urban legends 
and aliens are UFOs. In real life, there are also a few that have actually appeared. Although we humans have not been able to completely determine if those images are real, but at least there is some limited data which seems very reliable. Some people believe these sightings are real. And the second one is Siren Head. Siren Head may be known to some people. This is also one of several famous urban legends. It is also an alien created by the film creator with very realistic editing and special effects. It always gives human beings a lot of pressure and fear. Siren can eat people, have teeth, and is very tall and thin. Here is his video. has been extended. <laughs> and the third one is all the strange stuff from the back room. This urban legend can be said to be the most popular urban legend in recent times, whether it is on Instagram or other social media. Videos or articles about this urban legend can be seen everywhere. This content is very realistic and sh the shooting method is also made by a YouTuber. It's really scary so this urban legend is also one of my favorites. I want to share it with you. The following is his video. Sound? Camera? Rolling. All right, and action. All right, cut, cut. That was good, that was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Okay? All right, yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further, like? Uh, a little more, right. a little more. That? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Don't
So, what about professionals thoughts? So, um, there is a site and there is a um, group, a organization that is um, called SETI Institute, which is a nonprofit organization which with real scientists trying to find life and intelligence beyond Earth, which is basically aliens. And um, what they're doing is um, like researching about aliens, but also public talks, live streams, laboratory research, and planetary research. So and they're actually real scientists that's trying to find um, lives beyond human. And here's its website that you could see here. Um, there's a lot of things it shows on his, its website. Um, there's education, outreach, research, scientists. Um, Let's click scientist. Like these are all the scientists. See, there's more page than six. Oh my god! And um, let's pick the first scientist. And um, there is all of his data. So I think it's basic. I think it's very um, reliable. And um, let's click on news. Um, so they upload some. Um, news about planets and all things we want to know about space and um, our galaxy. Yeah, let's get back to our, our point. And last but not least, the conspiracy theory. This is um, a very special thing I, I would like to talk about. And um, I think it's very interesting. So UFO conspiracy theories are a subset of conspiracy theories which argue that various governments are suppressing evidence and that identify flying objects are controlled by a non-human intelligence or built using alien technology. So this paragraph is basically talking about relationship about um, governments and how they um, wants to what not want people to know about this UFO and all the stuff about aliens. And um, here's a video that will try to explain what is going on with this conspiracy theory. Area 51 has spawned more conspiracy theories than perhaps any other military facility in the world. So what is actually known about this secretive place? Area 51 is a U.S. Air Force military installation located at Groom Lake in southern Nevada. It is not accessible to the public and under 24-hour surveillance. Area 51 employees reach the facility by way of airplane. They fly in and out of a restricted terminal at McCarran International Airport on one of several unmarked planes permitted to fly through the airspace above. Adding to the secrecy, satellite imagery of the installation was censored until 2018. As of today, Area 51 is visible on Google Maps. The only confirmed use of the installation is as a flight testing facility. During World War II, the U.S. Army Air Corps used the site as an aerial gunnery range. In 1955, the area was selected by the CIA as a testing site for the Lockheed U-2, a high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. President Dwight D. Eisenhower authorized the testing, which was to be conducted under the code name Project Aquatone. After the U-2 was put into service in 1956, Area 51 was used to develop other aircraft, including the A-12 reconnaissance plane, also known as Oxcart, and the stealth fighter F-117 Nighthawk. On June 25, 2013, the CIA approved the release of declassified documents chronicling the history of the U-2 and Oxcart programs in response to a Freedom of Information Act request. 
The release of those documents marked the first time that the U.S. government formally acknowledged the existence of Area 51. Since then, not much other information has been forthcoming. We know what you're thinking, what about the aliens? Many people have reported seeing unidentified flying objects in or near Area 51. And the popular image of the place is a secret site for extraterrestrial research. How did that come about? In 1989, a man named Robert Lazar claimed he worked on extraterrestrial technology inside Area 51. Lazar told Las Vegas television reporter George Knapp that he saw autopsy photographs of aliens inside the facility and that the U.S. government used the facility to examine recovered alien spacecraft. Although Lazar himself was discredited, his claims spawned numerous government conspiracy theories, most of which involved extraterrestrial life. According to the CIA, test flights of the U-2 and subsequent military aircraft account for many of the UFO sightings in the area. There is no evidence of extraterrestrial contact at Area 51 or anywhere else. Okay, thank you guys for listening our presentation. Hope you guys like to uh, more interesting in alien and space and those theories that we introduced. Hope you guys like it and we will see you next time.